published 1637 EDT, 7 October 2017 Updated 1839 EDT, 7 October 2017 Blaise Matuidi's third minute strike was enough to secure another vital three points to move France back to the top of Group A with one game remaining in their quest to qualify for the World Cup. Didier Deschamps' side took an early lead from an unlikely source, with Matuidi firing in from a tight angle after lovely link-up play between Lucas Dean and Antoine Griezmann. With Sweden travelling next to Albert Holland and just a point behind, France can now seal their place at Russia 2018 by beating Belarus in Paris on Tuesday. Blaise Matuidi wheels away in celebration, after firing France in front against Bulgaria Matuidi, celebrates his ninth international goal to give France the lead in Sofia the Juventus midfielder finds the corner from an acute angle to give the visitors an early lead sweet and must better France's result against Belarus to snatch the automatic place in Group A Bulgaria 442 I leave, Strahol Popov, Bajarov, Bozhikov, Zanev, Manilov, Slavchev, Kostadinov, Nedelev, Golabinov, Kriv 48, Delevionist Subs Mitrov, Chorbidzilevsky, Nadyalkov, Panov, Rainov, Malinov, Svetkov, Mackenzie, Bokhtzanov, Slavchev, Kriv, Kostadinov, France 433, Loris, Sidub, Varane, Imtidi, Dean, Tolisso, Conte, Rabia 34, Matuidi, Griezmann, Lokazet, Pay at 77. Mbapjir at 84 UNUSED subs Mandanda, Jalit, Amavi, Lemur, Komen, Sissoko, Rami, Kimkumb, Ariologo Matuidi 3 book, Jirid referee Antonio Miguel Matu. La His Spain Les Blias had failed to win on any of their last seven visits to Bulgaria, but Blaise Matuidi's early goal proved enough for a 10 victory in Sofia. Sweden had applied the pressure with an 80 thumping at Luxembourg who held France to a goalless draw in their last outing, earlier in the day. That saw the Swedes temporarily move into top spot, but victory means France know that three points at home to Belarus on Tuesday will book their place in Russia. Boss Didier Deschamps made his intentions clear by naming a front trio of Kylian Bapp, Alexander Lacazette and Antoine Griezmann. Griezmann was involved in the opener after only three minutes showing a deft touch to set up Matuidi for a fine finish from a tight angle. In very wet conditions, the visitors look determined to put the game out of sight. Mbapp forced a save from Plum and I leave at his near post before Griezmann sent an acrobatic volley just wide. The travelling supporters get behind their country during the national anthem in Sofia Matuidi not pictured sees his ball hit the back of the net as France made the perfect start Matuidi completed a sweeping move click here for more from our brilliant match zone Chelsea midfielder N'Golo Conte holds the back of his hamstring as he is forced off Paris Saint-Germain forward Kylian Bapp is tackled by Bulgaria's defender Petr Zanev Tuesday 10 October France vs. Valera Schalen vs. Sweden Luxembourg vs. Bulgaria The front trio then teamed up to create a great opening for Lacazette in the 29th minute, but Vassal Bozhikov denied what appeared a certain goal with a brilliant late tackle. France were forced into a change when Chelsea midfielder N'Golo Conte tweaked a hamstring and was replaced by Adrian Rabiot of Paris Saint-Germain. Bulgaria had been non-existent as an attacking force, but almost equalized in the 37th minute. Todor Nedelev's shot did not appear too troublesome, but Hugo Lloris could not hold it in the slippery conditions, and the ball was lifted up to Georgi Kostadinov, whose header was brilliantly kept out by the French keeper as he threw himself across the goal. The half ended with Mbappe shooting just wide, but the impetus went out of France in the second half, and they began to look lackluster. However, they never appeared in serious danger of conceding an equaliser, and comfortably held on for three vital points. The result means France clinched their first victory in Bulgaria for 85 years to move back to the top of Group A in the race to qualify for next year's World Cup finals. 
Lucas Dean gets on the ball, and he provided the cross which led to Matuidi's fine opener Arsenal striker Alexander Lacazette was selected up front by Didier Deschamps in Bulgaria Deschamps calls on his players to retain possession during a rain-soaked contest in Sofia